Singapore is doubling the cycling path network across the island, mostly running parallel along park connectors. These are green spaces turned into mini parks complete with jogging tracks, lush greenery alongside other amenities like shelters and benches. I am a pretty casual cyclist, so I've decided to rope some friends along to go on a short cycling trip using a shared bike and I'm calling it a cycling adventure. This time, I challenged myself to cycle from East Coast Park to Changi Village in the eastern part of Singapore. Part of the route will run through Tanamira Coast Road, a long continuous road opened in 2017 to accommodate the upcoming Changi Airport Terminal 5. There is also a dedicated cycling lane along the road, one of the first in Singapore and a park connector runs right beside it. The park connector is also part of the Round Island Route, an island network of walking and cycling paths that will fully open in 2035 with its eastern lake already open in January 2022. To start the trip, we started from East Coast Park on a beautiful Sunday. It was quite a challenge to find a bike sharing bicycle but we managed to find it eventually. As usual, we unlocked the bike by scanning the QR code via the bike sharing app Anywheel and we're good to go. Coast Park is one of the most popular parks in Singapore and home to amenities like the East Coast Lagoon Food Village Hawk Centre and Rain Tree Cove. Although there were plenty of people at the park, the cycling paths were wide and accommodating. Plus, the sea breeze and winds made the ride more palatable. Plenty of photography opportunities await too. At the tail end of East Coast Park leading up to Tanamira Coast Road, there were lesser people so the park area was more serene and quiet, fully emphasising the beauty of nature. Plenty of jetties along this area too to just enjoy the nice sea breeze. Planning to bring your own bike? There were plenty of bike kiosks allowing you to fix your bike before you move on to the next part of your cycling adventure. The main attraction is of course the Tanamira Coast Road. It's a very straight road with minimal distractions as it's technically in the middle of nowhere. Benches and rest points are located within several meters from one another, but they lack water points and toilets. It can be quite frustrating since it's technically in the middle of nowhere. There were some interesting sights like a secret non-accessible beach overlooking the sea and there were people doing some sort of wind activity which was rather cool. These were certainly interesting sights amidst the emptiness of Tanamira Coast Road. At the end of the road leading to Changi Beach, our next checkpoint was Aviation Park Road. It's home to the Changi Exhibition Centre where the Singapore Air Show is held at, at every two years. If you're lucky, you might come across planes landing in and taking off from nearby Changi Airport. We finally reached Changi Beach. Thankfully, there were washrooms here and water points for us to take a short break. There were also vending machines selling snacks, drinks and other stuff too. Cycling along this part of Changi Beach was really a sight to behold. It did not look like a typical public park and the super tall trees really made the place different to the point that it doesn't even look like Singapore. After cycling the full stretch of Changi Beach, it was time to return our shared bikes to a designated bicycle parking lot which was located in Changi Village. Changi Village is a small housing estate also home to delicious food and the Changi Point Ferry Terminal where you can take a boat ride to Pulau Ubin or to a small island in Malaysia. As usual, to return the bike, park at the designated lot, lock it, and trip in app and scan the QR code. Do take note to stock up on plenty of water due to the lack of water points. If you have a bad bladder, don't consume too much too because of the lack of toilets. You just need to find that right balance. Although this route is okay for a casual cyclist, take note that some stamina is still needed. Enjoy this video? Take a look at my previous cycling adventure from Pongol to Bishan. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching!